point, I refer to what I call always a schizophrenic condition. Confusion between matter and plasma. But from today and from this week, we, we had a meeting with knowledge seekers and I explained that to them. In the Foundation, we move away of talking and working in the matter level. So, we consider everything in plasmatic, gravitational, magnetic field. What it means, how it interacts, what it means to interact, what it means when it interacts with matter. If you go back to your work and a lot of knowledge seekers work we've seen over past few weeks and months, you made these uh, nano-coated materials. You, I, that was the beginning of the teaching, to understand the new dimension between matter and plasma. Because you still needed the physicality to confirm you are correct, because that's how man is. If it's physical, real, then I can see it, I can touch it, I accept it. As I said in the recent past, <clears throat> they said, if one person can replicate a pattern, then the pattern is acceptable. You have replicated the production of nano layers, hundreds of you, so the technology is 100% correct. <clears throat> then, in time, we took you over to further, because it was very hard job for a lot of people <clears throat> to see matter in its simple state of plasma. Because up to now we were told plasma is something you cannot see. And in creating the condition, the environment, we showed you how you can release atoms that is goes from physicality of being joined together to individual plasmas. We call it gases in nano state. So we call it GANS. So a GANS is a plasma which carries all the information and at the ten point of the balance of its gravitational magnetic field, in respect to its center, manifests itself as entity, as a ball of fields. If you look at the gas of copper oxide you produce, or CO2, you see the attributes and the beauty of the Sun, because it's exactly the same thing. But in a miniature version, according to your point of view, and your understanding. Therefore, what we have done, in a very simple way, have brought the whole knowledge in a very smooth way, even keeping you busy for past few weeks and months, to do different things, to bring you to the point where we are today. Up to now, we have worked to show you the matter, and how you can create a plasma, and how you can play with this plasma. As of 1st of October, as I said to the knowledge seekers, we only work with plasma. The problem or the beauty to work with plasma is very simple. Is that you do not need to change colors and shapes as you need things. What does this mean? You don't need to use material to create resistors and you don't need to create tools to make capacitors of different elements, in different shape and forms. You can use the property of the plasmas which you use as a GANS or a nano layers to create new tools, new components. What we call plasma, space plasma magrep components. It's very much like chips. The difference with this, what we call MC's magrep components, is that from now on, you use what you have created, what you have released in plasma, in holding, in containing, in uh, resisting the fields, for them to release or hold what you want to hold. In so many ways, when um, Luciano showed us that he drilled a hole in the, uh, what do you call it, uh, material and put magnets, uh, what do you call wires around it, he could release energy. This was the sign that slowly you lot are maturing to understand the process. And from this point, as I said, you make a move that you show sign of intelligence to understand, we release the information more. So, from today, we try and we will uh, stick to producing new components. Components which are 
magnetic gravitational based, not matter based. What does this mean? This means that from now on, you work exactly the same as the universal systems. Plasma of the solar system, which we are part of, is not held by a cup, or in a cage, or in a box. The plasma of this solar system is held by gravitational magnetic field, which it creates itself in the center with the Sun, as its principal matter, and in conjunction with the strength of the other gravitational magnetic field in the environment of this galaxy. So, that dictates the size, the position of it. So, whatever comes into the plasma of this solar system, this solar system becomes a container of it, and whatever this solar system releases into the environment, is the what this can provide. So, if you look at it, the plasma of this solar system is a capacitor, is a resistor, is a storage, is a battery, is whatever you want to use it. Now, what does this mean? To start understanding and using the knowledge which has come to us over centuries and hundreds of years from other scientists. To start looking in a direction that, for example, when you have hydrogen, you have one proton and one electron. Now, instead of looking, which have been habit of the scientists up to now, in the plasma of the electron and plasma of a proton, look at the totality of the plasma of the two. What we call Coulomb's barrier, or what we call the atmosphere of this planet, or whatever name we choose for different sizes. Then, if you do this, you will come to understand the reality and the work of the plasma. So, it is irrelevant how much plasma is within this um, uh, container, the number of the plasma's interaction, gravitational magnetic field, becomes the player in the whole structure of the new component. The beauty of you developing these new components, what we call Magrav components, is that you don't need any wires, you don't need any uh, connections of connecting one to another. The only connection you need is to link into the gravitational magnetic field, the strength of the matter itself. So, it's very easy. You want to go fast, you get yourself on the faster side of the river when you're canoeing. When you want to go slower, you go to the shore. If you understand this concept, use the same, with going from one point in gravitational magnetic field, to another. Be it in your resistors, be it in your, in your capacitors, be it in your traveling into space, or being you communicate in the space. The tools of new communication with the MCs is totally different is instantaneous, is immediate, and at the same time is easy. What does this mean? This means, go back to the very first time you made the nanolayers, and if you understood the interaction of the nanolayers and how they are made.